Hello everyone, what is going on? Broken Mike here, and welcome back to the channel. And welcome back to this week's episode of BUW. And this is episode 146, part 3, and this is the fallout from last week's Battle of Champions event. Now if you guys missed any of the action in the previous two parts, then do be sure to head on over and give them a watch. As you can see, we are going to be kicking off part 3 with our second Men's Journey to Gold qualifying match. And this one is going to be between Victor Wolf, representing the Wolverines. And he's going to go one on one with Jack Styles, representing the Night Terrors. Who's going to be the next man to advance to the Journey to Gold ladder match? Let's find out. Now if you guys do enjoy this one, then do be sure to leave a like for Mike, slap any comments down below, and please do be sure to consider subscribing to the channel. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from London, England, weighing in at 252 pounds, Victor Wolf. Making his way down to the ring first, representing the Wolverines, Victor Wolf. And Victor Wolf made the challenge to Jack Styles. Not long after Jack Styles wrestled Victor's cousin, Davy Joe Wolf, for the United States Championship. And even though Davy Joe was able to keep his lengthy championship reign, well, as long as uh, he kept his title reign going, which he did, it's easy for me to say, I'm getting tongue tied. Victor was none too happy the fact that Jack Styles was trying to take a chunk out of his cousin. And we raise the stakes, so this match is a Journey to Gold qualifying match. Earlier on tonight, we saw Jim Boy become the first man to qualify for the Men's Journey to Gold ladder match. Will Victor Wolf be the next one to join him? We'll have to wait and see. And Victor Wolf has a, had a bit of a slump in the last month or so. And what a win this could be for Victor if he can knock off Jack Styles. Yeah, now we're talking. Of course, remember that those who don't qualify first time around will get a second opportunity down the line. And his opponent representing the Terrors from Leeds, England, weighing in at 312 pounds, the Dominator. Jack Styles. And making his way down to the ring next, representing the Night Terrors, the owner of JSW, the Dark Dominator, Jack Styles. And despite a great effort from Jack Styles against Davy Joe Wolf, was unable to wrestle away the United States Championship from uh, BUW's version of the Forever Champion. Jack Styles looking to qualify, which I do believe would be his first Journey to Gold ladder match.
a little earlier on tonight we saw two of Jack's teammates King Dominator and Johnny the Machine Cage get a huge tag team victory over the, the former BUW tag team champions 2-Bit Gaming so who's going to be the next man to advance to the men's journey to gold ladder match we are about to find out and here we go and Victor Wolf he's coming out the gates early he wants a piece of Styles. Victor to the top rope calling Jack to his feet takes flight oh overshot his mark there went for the double axe handle and Victor Wolf cornering Styles. And Victor Wolf delivering the 10 punches of doom. And Jack Styles trying to find a way back into the match. He's been struggling against Victor Wolf, who's a great technician. He's a very successful wrestler wherever he's competed. And VCW, a five time world champion. And of course, in WCC, the current champion over there as well. Victor Wolf would love to leave his mark in BUW. And Jack answering back. And Jack hangs out. Victor Wolf to dry on the top rope. And Victor Wolf gets thrown across the ring. And there's no one there for that leg drop. The lock up. Bat breaker. Working on the left arm of Styles. Victor Wolf was quoted saying for Jack Styles to put a muzzle on his face to stop him biting other competitors. There's an elbow drop. Hooks the leg. And Victor gets a near fall. Just gets a two count. And I must say, Victor Wolf is absolutely taking it to Jack Styles, who's a former two-time world champion here in BUW. And Victor Wolf with a stump puller. No, we can't quite see from the angle, but you've got a thing that Jack's in a lot of pain. Able to fight free. Now has Victor Wolf in his grasp and throws him across the ring again. And Jack Styles with a right hand, follows up with a headbutt. And look at Styles showing off his strength. Look at this military press. Drops Victor onto his face. Oh, ref, well, hang on a second. Was that below the belt? Jack Styles likes to bend the rules. We do know that much. The fans are not happy. And there's a leg drop for good measure for Victor Wolf. Lock up here. And look at this from Victor Wolf showing his power. And Victor just throws Jack to the outside. Are you kidding me right now? And now Victor Wolf going after Jack. A lock up. The side headlock into a running bulldog. And Victor's fired up here, folks. Lock up. Suplex. Knee drop. Another knee drop, this time to the back of the head of Styles. And an elbow drop. I mean, Victor Wolf, he's out. I didn't think we'd see this. And Jack Styles, again, always finding an answer. Oh my goodness, isn't this the way he just slammed Victor Wolf there? Knee drop from Styles. And there's a nerve hold. 
and both men on the out still on the outside no count outs and Victor crashes into the steel steps as Jackery enters the ring Victor Wolf getting back to his feet. He returns to the ring. Back in the ring. Oh, wait a second. Victor Wolf is taking Jack Styles to the suplex. Kingdom. It's what the Wolverine family is famous for. Hooks the leg. Is this enough to pin Jack Styles? No, it's a near fall for Victor, and he cannot believe it. And Victor's calling Jack to his feet. Oh, we know what he was going to go for. He was going to go for that victorious crossface. And Jack Styles doing his homework. Into the turnbuckle goes Victor. Kick to the knee. Lock up again. Military press slam. Jack Styles into the cover. And Victor Wolf kicks out at two. Unbelievable. Oh, and Victor Wolf gets hit with that Brody Lee clothesline. Cover and Jack Styles advances to the Journey to Gold ladder match. And what a matchup this was! Styles, Victor Wolf having a classic here. But end of the day, folks, Jack Styles is going to be the man to advance, and Victor he will get a second chance down the line along with Davy Roche and three other superstars in a second chance qualifying match so it's not out of the woods of the possibility for Victor Wolf to get his revenge and enter himself in the men's journey to gold ladder match here is your winner the dominator Jack Styles so here is your winner of the match and advancing to the men's journey to gold ladder match representing the Knights Terrors, the Dark Dominator Jack Styles. So we know two superstars that will be competing in this year's men's journey to gold ladder match it will be Jim Boy and Jack Styles as of this point those are the only names we know so far and speaking of the Journey to Gold ladder match, we're about to find out who will be the first qualifier from the women's division. And this one is going to be... Kayla. And she's going to go one-on-one. -on -one. With Country Girl representing the Country Lasses and the Magnum Foundation. So yes folks, we will find out after this match will be the first woman out of these two to advance to the Women's Journey to Gold ladder match.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Cardiff, Wales, DVS K. Johnston. About to enter the ring first, Kayla. And what opportunity this is for Kayla, looking to qualify for the women's journey to gold ladder match for the second year running. Kayla, a three-time women's tag team champion. Still trying to find her feet as a single star. She could be one win away, closer. One win closer, I should say to becoming a star, so to speak. And from Missouri County, Girl Dynamite. And her opponent making her way down to the ring, representing the Magnum Foundation and the Country Lasses, Country Girl. Country Girl looking to qualify for her first Journey to Gold ladder match and etch her name in history. Has been nailing it as a tag team wrestler. Has Country Girl. Has come close to winning tag team gold quite recently. And of course, a briefcase for a future world title match would be a lot better, you would have to say. But who will be the first woman to advance to this year's women's ladder match? And here we go. And Country Girl starting off quicker. Northern Light Suplex. Country Girl top rope. Oh my goodness, that was a good two thirds of the way across the ring there. And gets a near fall. And Country can't believe it. Dominating the early going of this match. A rolling next snap. Kayla with a counter. The side headlock, but Kayla able to fight out. Oh, a slap. Country go over counter. And of course, like what we just said about the uh, men's qualifying matches, whoever doesn't qualify in this one will receive a second chance later on down the line. And there's a Cobra clutch here, or a Camel clutch, I should say. It's Michael Clock. And Kayla able to counter. And she's taken a lot of punishment already in this match. A nice bat breaker from Kayla. you got to watch out for Kayla. She's very mischievous. Especially if she hits that devious DDT. Another submission here. The Colossal Clutch is locked in. And Country Girl finds a way out. Oh, and there's a slap that chops from Country Girl. Oh, Kayla countering. Inverted DDT. Top rope. Kayla takes flight. Oh, completely missed her mark. Irish whip and over goes Country Girl. And of course, no count outs. So these ladies can do whatever they want. And Country Girl with a suplex. A little kick there from Country. Now she's talking smack to Kayla. A kick to the back. A lock up. Into the barricade goes Kayla. 
right in front of our fans here. And there's Country Girl blowing a kiss. Maybe kissing Kayla's chances of advancing. Goodbye. The lock up. Irish up across ringside and Kayla re entering the ring. Oh, and Kayla taking advantage here. Kicked in the midsection. Look at Kayla answering back. Country girl with the coron elbow tie up. And Kayla hung up on the top rope, sent crashing to the floor. Elbow to the face. A hair pull neck slam. A slap, chop. Country girl double underhook. Into a bat breaker. And you can see how much Country Girl wants to advance to that women's journey to gold ladder match. And join names such as Wendy, Pinky, and Maria Rose who have won that ladder match in the past. Oh, Country, look for the Country kick. Great, great counter there from Kayla. She saw it coming. And I think Kayla was trying to Hit, K hit Country of her own move. And Country Girl again comes close to advancing. Top rope. Takes flight. Oh, Crofts body attempt. She get Country gets caught in a scoop slam. And Kayla now taking charge. But can she make it count? Kayla to the top rope. Takes flight. Look at that splash. That hang time. From the devious one. Side headlock. But again country fighting out. Oh look at this. DDT. Hooks the leg. Will this do it? And Kayla kicks out at two. Unbelievable. Now, of course, that wasn't quite the country DDT. And country girl hitting her second DDT. Now, of course, she wants to hit her patented country DDT. Which has put away many superstars in her short time in BUW. The lock up. And Country again gets launched over the top rope. And look at Kayla showing absolute no respect to her opponent. And look at this. No way. That was a version of the country DDT to country girl on the outside Kayla stealing country girls finishing move if she hit that in the ring this could have been over and Kayla gets thrown into the barricade counter from Kayla lock up into the ring apron goes country girl Kick to the back of the knee. A slap. Right hands. And there's a forearm. Country girl able to kick Kayla off. It's hard to call this one, I tell you. This has been very back and forth. And look at Kayla, what's she gonna do? Oh, and country girl. Into the barricade. Kayla could be one big move away if she gets Country Girl in the ring. She could be one big move away from ending this. And look at Kayla again showing no sign of respect and it could come back to bite her. 
It's a nightmare takedown. Oh, and Country Girl with a submission. The camel clutch. Kick to the ribs. And Country Girl hits that country kick. Could this be enough? Referee! Referee! Controversy surrounding the ending of the match. But Country Girl has advanced, ladies and gentlemen. Holy cow, folks. Here is your winner of the match and the first woman to advance to the Women's Journey to Gold ladder match. Representing the Magnum Foundation and the Country Lasses, Country Girl. But that's not the full story, ladies and gentlemen. Kayla had her hand clearly on the bottom rope, but the referee failed to see it. You know that's not going to sit too well. Sit too well. With the devious one. But of course Kayla will get a second chance to qualify for the women's journey to gold ladder match in just a few weeks time. Holy cow, a lot of talking points there, that's for sure. But can't take anything away from Country Girl who is the first to advance to the women's ladder match. Anyway, let's take a breath for a minute and move on to our next matchup. And this one, it's going to be Max, representing the Broken Psychos. And he's going to go one on one with Baron Knight. So two big men with similar styles. This one should be. A very hard hitting affair, that is for sure. We haven't seen Baron Knight since he lost to Jack Styles at Whiplash. And this is Baron's first match since, and he's looking to bounce back on the winning trail. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Manchester, England. Weighing in at 285 pounds, Max the Destroyer. Riding his way around the ring, representing the Broken Psychos, Max. And I'm looking forward to seeing this match. Max and Baron Knight, two huge guys with similar move sets and moves in, ri in ring style. Main difference is Max has had a lot more experience inside the BUW ring than Baron Knight has. Max, of course, a former two time United States champion here in BUW. Here comes. 
become one of our favorites. And his opponent from your darkest fears. Weighing in at 330 pounds, Barton Knight. And making his way down to the ring, Baron Knight. And Baron Knight, this is his fifth match here in BUW, and his last outing was his first defeat in a BUW ring against the former two-time world champion Jack Styles. And of course, looking to bounce back with a big win over a former United States champion. And as, as I say, we're speaking of Jack Styles, I would be dread to think. Even at this early stage, you just know two names in a men's ladder match. He's got to be considered a favourite from many people. And Max delivering a flatliner on Baron Knight. And Max looking to get a win here. One count only, and Max cannot believe it. Leg drop from Max, and of course he would love to see himself back in the championship picture. Rapid fire left hands. And Max now top rope. Takes flight, no one home for that elbow drop. Clubbing shots there. Now, Max working on the leg of Baron. Oh, and a knee to the midsection from Baron Knight. Delivers a leg drop himself. And Baron Knight heading to the top rope. Elbow drop into the cover. And Baron gets a two count. Max slowly getting back to his feet as Baron Knight picking up a lot of steam here. And Max in trouble. He's in no man's land. Look at this. Back suplex off the ring apron. But look at that. Max right away. Not letting that phase him. And turning things around in his favor, albeit momentarily. The lockup into the steel steps goes Baron. Baron dazed and confused at the moment, this moment in time. And look at Max here; he's going for it. Choke slam on the outside. Max with some lefts and rights, delivering a side slam. Lock up again. Irish with a cross ringside. A side slam. Max with a right hand again, the waist lock. Backbreaker. Oh, and into the ring post. Goes Baron Knight, you heard his head bounce. Baron Knight slowly getting back to a vertical base. He has no need to rush. Nice takedown. And now nice leg drop there. Rapid fire right hands from Max. Max, of course, the uh, heavy hitter of the Broken Psychos. As Baron Knight gets thrown across the ring. The ringside area, I should say. Another Mike O'Clock moment. Baron Knight now making his way back in. Right hands. 
clubbing blow to the back. Swinging net breaker. Oh, wait a second here. Baron Knight gets caught with the, with the dragon screw. He gets thrown across ringside. And Max now heading to the top rope. Baron getting back to his feet. Max having the second thoughts there about taking a risk. Snake eyes. And look at Baron Knight stomping a mud hole in Max and I think he's been busted open here. Rapid fire right hands. And again rapid fire right hands. And Baron Knight, top rope, takes fly, elbow drop, hooks the leg, but it's a rope break. Oh, wait a minute, it's Baron Knight who's busted open. And Baron Knight, oh, marking on the shoulder. Oh no, he's got Max by the back of the back of the neck. What? Look at this! Reverse choke slam. Wait, wait a minute. Lights have gone out here. And Max, turn around, Baron. And Baron gets thrown across the ring. Hooks the leg. Just a count of one, and Max can't believe it. These two heavy hitters. Baron Knight, Dragon Screw. Oh, looking for a finish perhaps. Baron Knight hit with a stun gun. And Max of a submission, the STF. Will he make the big man submit here? Max going for a rare submission hold. Let's him out. I don't know how wise that was. Targeting the armor again, and there is Hell's Gate. The triangle choke submission is Max. Oh my goodness! Baron. He lets him out. I don't know how smart that was, but he's going to look for the pin instead. And Max gets the victory. Holy crud, what a heavy hitting match that was between two Titans. Baron Knight suffering back to back losses now here in BUW. Now with three wins and two losses. But Max. He just looked too good in this match, I will have to say. There was the Hell's Gate submission, which Max released. Max going for the pin. And gets the win. Here is your winner, Max, the Destroyer. And here is your winner of the match, representing the Broken Psychos, Max. And what a win that is for that young man right there. Representing the Broken Psychos proudly. As he looks to continue his journey to maybe earn more championship gold here in BUW. As he rides off into the sunset. Unbelievable. Very hard hit in that match. What action we have seen in this part alone, folks. We've got uh, two new qualifiers for each ladder match. And, of course, controversy in one of those matches. And uh, two titans of BUW colliding. You couldn't write this stuff. Unbelievable show so far, including what we've seen in the other two parts. And we've still got two more big matchups still to come, ladies and gentlemen. We'll get back to that in just a moment, but 
as for right now guys if you have enjoyed this part then do be sure to leave a like for mike slap any comments down below and do be sure to consider subscribing to my channel but we're not quite done for this week on buw guys we still got one more journey to gold qualifying match where victoria wolf will be squaring off against an old friend in grand ioki a former friend in the chaos pact so we'll see who the second qualifier will be there in the women's division and we got a rematch from this past week's battle of champions event as the magna foundation square off with heavy rain in a tornado tables match you do not want to miss it so until then guys do be sure to take care and i'll see you all after this final break